is this? What am I doing? Oh, this is going everywhere. Damn. I need a bigger bowl. This is a disaster. Hey guys, my name's Tom. I work at BuzzFeed Australia. Today, I'm going to be eating everything with coffee. In Australia, everyone is obsessed with coffee. I have never been a big coffee person myself, so I want to try experiencing coffee in a new way to see if I can learn to appreciate it through food. So I'm off to the shops, I've got my shopping bags, I'm gonna buy a bunch of stuff that I can cook some meals with coffee in it. So first meal of the day is gonna be a coffee acai bowl. For my acai bowl, I've got a frozen banana, we've got some ice cubes, we've got spinach, everyone loves spinach, half a cup of almond milk, and some protein powder, and some instant coffee. <laughs> I've got a few toppings, so I'm gonna to try and salvage it with the toppings and maybe that'll make it taste okay. The green color is horrible. I hate the green, but that looks nice. And for the drink, we are obviously having some instant coffee. Okay, let's go breakfast. Will this bowl of spinach coffee aside help me learn to love the flavor of coffee? The spinach, ah. I'm impressed I made a side. I didn't realize how easy it was to make. I think I've got to brew the coffee. Like, I don't know. I don't think I can put coffee powder in something if I don't melt it. <sighs> That's right. I think I need to do a bit more work. So it's approaching lunchtime and it's time for some lunch, I guess. For lunch, we're gonna do something pretty simple. We're just gonna do some nice crepes with eggs. But you know, there's nothing wrong with doing something simple well which is the plan today. <laughs> so we've got greens for the original crepe shape. So normally you put in 500 milliliters of water. We're gonna put in coffee as well. So we're just gonna like straight up, just put that in. Oh, my spoon's too big. A scoop of coffee and then we'll put in our water and then we just shake it. If your um, tap started doing that water, you'll be pretty worried. All right, so now let's chuck it on the fry pan, huh? This one's like probably the perfect crepe length. I'm gonna do four eggs, pepper as well. Okay, we've got our butter cooking. I mean, oh, our eggs cooking. It's looking okay. Keep our cheese, our cheddar cheese. This stuff looks good. I'm really excited for that. This in. Wow, this is actually pretty cooked. Ooh, didn't want it this cooked. What do I do about this? I think I gotta chuck the cheese in real quick. Let's go, okay. Time to play it off, let's go. Got the crates, got the eggs, let's just put it together for a simple but delicious, hopefully, lunch. Okay, I'm gonna go to the local coffee shop and get a soy latte for lunch. This actually looks pretty dope, actually, so let's get into this. Let's see if we can taste the egg. I mean, we can taste the egg for sure. Let's see if we can taste the Coffee. Mm. Oh, that's really nice. The coffee said it's giving it like a little bit of complexity, I would say. Like, it's not just crepes, it's like this extra layer. But I don't know if I like it though. The eggs are so good. I don't know how I feel about coffee and food. Like, I drink it, I'm not saying I like it though. So we, it's so, sort of a no-bake cappuccino bar for our snack today. Start off with a bit of butter, brown sugar, and we need a little bit of honey. And so we're just gonna like mix all this together and we just stir. Okay, we need to add our cocoa powder in. Two tablespoons of our beautiful Makuna instant coffee, which we all love. Let's give that a mix. So this needs to dissolve, apparently. Okay, now we're gonna do the oats. So we've got to get the oats completely covered. Then have in the sauce here. That's good enough for now. Now for our rice bubbles. I'm gonna mix that in. I'm loving the look of this. Okay, so we're just gonna let it cool for five minutes. And then we're adding in our chips. That's pretty sort of straightforward. And let's mix. Okay, I think that's about done, so let's just put it into the pan. 
Yeah, I'll put it in the fridge. What I'm gonna do now is this thing I've seen on TikTok where you melt like a chocolate or biscuit into the coffee. For the biscuit, I've actually got a caramel bar. Caramelized white chocolate is what it is. Let's get it started. So I'm gonna put it just here. Let me, oh, it just fell in. I was gonna show you what it looked like, but it fell in. So now for the milk. Damn, I'm actually pretty stoked. That's, that was kind of fun. Okay, here we are. We've got this giant thing. I don't know how we're gonna cut this, to be honest. Oof. What? That is rock solid. Right, let's try that with that delightful drink. Let's give this a go. Can't taste that caramel. Let me get a spoon. Wow, that's quite nice. Definitely makes it a lot sweeter. Mmm, oh, that is really good. I really want to just eat this whole thing. The rice crispiness, the chocolate, the crunch of the um, bubbles. It's really great, but the um, the coffee flavor just adds, I guess it adds a, li a little bit, but it's not for me, really. I'm not loving it. Alright, that is a huge sugar coffee hit, so better get back to work because I'm going to be very efficient. A little update for you guys. I have just had enough. I'm like pretty knackered, to be honest. I think something about having so much coffee throughout the day, like it really just takes your energy. Like you get very energetic and you get really tired. So I don't know. I have to try and sort of rally and be able to finish it off. I've got two more meals to go. So <sighs> gotta get that going. The ribs are gonna be fried. But then we're gonna have, we're gonna have like a coffee sauce. This is just like the marinade that we're doing now. Oh, I've got some soy sauce, the red wine vinegar, Worcestershire. I don't know the amounts. I've honestly lost my plot for today. I'm a bit out of it now. We've got our flour. Mix it all up and then we're gonna marinate it. Marinate it for an unspecified amount of time. Okay, so now we're making the coffee sauce. So we're gonna fry it, then we're gonna put it in this sauce. A little bit of water, two things of sugar, and coffee. Ugh, I don't know, man. I feel like I'm gonna ruin the ribs if I put this on it. So we're gonna heat that up, and make it like blend together, and then put the ribs on it. We're gonna put our ribs in. Be gentle because I'm not a, really a chef. I don't know what I'm doing in this video. As I'm doing this experiment, I think it's kind of flawed. This is more of a test of my cooking skills than me learning how to like coffee. So what I need to do for next time is not cook everything because that's that's where the problems are. Okay, so these first lot, they're looking pretty good. Now yeah, I can show you. Nice golden color. They smell really nice actually. And that's them. They actually look quite good on the camera, better than I thought they would. And we just gotta add our coffee sauce to that. So let's get to it. They're just sort of, oh my God, holy shit. Okay, let's put our things in before it gets too late. It smells, it smells super strong, really rich coffee smell right now. And the movie now to the drink. We're doing our espresso martini now. I don't have a proper, proper coffee shaker, so I've just got my gym shaker. So we've got a espresso shot. I think you do like half the thing of Kahlua. We've got a Smirnoff shot, basically like a bottle. Put that in and lastly, I believe you need ice. I've never made an espresso martini before, so. Welcome to World's Worst Espresso Martini. Oh, it said just shake 10 times. Well, I've done that more than 10 times. Ugh, is there supposed to be ice in there? Oh, that's kind of perfect. Okay, so dinner is served. Let's give that a go. Oof, I've not had a lot of espresso martinis, but that's the worst one I've had for sure. <laughs> Here it is, the coffee rub. You can see the coffee sugary rub thing. It's cooked. Yeah, the coffee does add a bit of coffee taste to it. I think the ribs are just good anyway, so I don't know like if it's just good or if it's like good because of the coffee. 
And we continue. We have creamed the sugar and butter, which I found out is just like mixing them together. Now let's do the coffee powder. So now we just mix that in. Then we add the eggs. Now we add the flour in. I don't know how I'm gonna have space for this. What is this? What am I doing? Okay, now we add the cocoa powder. Oh shit, this is going everywhere. Um, fuck. Oh, I don't wanna do this anymore. I need a bigger bowl. This is a disaster. I don't, even, I don't even know how you mix it in. It's not even mixing in. Like I've got way too much cocoa powder. You know what, brownies, there's like six ingredients. It's gonna be one of the easiest things to make. Turns out it was not. I might have done something wrong with this brownie mix because it's impossible to use. <sighs> okay, that looks fine. And yeah, let's chuck that in the oven. Brownies made. It's a very dark brownie. It smells like burnt, I would say, if I was to describe the smell. Okay, there's our brownie. Wow, look at that. For dessert, we're just gonna have. Well. <laughs> we're gonna have some Kahlua. Some ice. A bit of Kahlua. Oh, that's probably too much. And then a bit of milk. And yeah, there is my Kahlua with my brownie. Let's give this a go. I don't think I've really nailed the brownie recipe there. It's chocolatey, it's texture's just a bit clumpy, I guess. The coffee is just, takes away. It's just the worst part of the brownie. Oh, that's good. There's nothing bad about this at all. Maybe the takeaway is alcoholic coffee is the only way to go. And I should start my mornings off with that. I think, like, to be honest, I think I have to look back at the premise of this and go, well, if I want to enjoy coffee, it's not necessarily about doing it in a weird way. It's about the drink. And if I don't like the actual coffee flavor, I'm not going to like it in the food. So really, it's, it's appreciating it from its core. So I think fundamentally, I have to go figure out how to like it as it, as it tastes. In its, in its natural state. And then that goes. So what do you guys want me to cook next? Like a vegan diet for a day? What's, what's a good?